Sandra? Oh, this doesn't sound good. Huh? Cut the theatrics, Pegford. You know how busy I am. Oh, all right. Be done with it, then. Thistle root. It might sting. <laughs> oh! Might. Sorry, Pegford. Now, no flying until we find out what's going on. I hope it's soon. I have places to go and wizards to see. Cassandra! I need your help! Bad-tempered griffin just crashed into a turret! Oh, not another one! That makes 48 winged beings this week. Yes, worst epidemic of can't fly right I've ever seen. We should be getting the test results back from the sorcerer's lab in the morning. <laughs> You'll have to hold him while I do the exam. No problem. Grip him, grip him! Psst. I suspect Zalak is behind this. Shh, not now. Did you say something, Cassandra? Uh, yes. Uh, um, is the Griffin okay? Nothing broken, uh, but he mustn't fly until we know what's causing these poor creatures to fall out of the sky. I'll give him a landlocked potion like the others. Uh, it's getting kind of late. Oh, yes, yes. So sorry. Uh, you run along and get some rest. I don't know what I'd have done if you hadn't volunteered to assist after class. If this keeps up, we're going to need more help. Unfortunately, you're the only one who offered. Given the savage nature of our patients, it's very difficult to recruit helpers. Oh, they're just teddy bears at heart. <laughs> ah! ooh, ooh. I wish everyone felt that way. Don't worry, Doc. Tomorrow you'll have four more helping hands. They may take a little convincing, but they will be here. <laughs> Whoa, sorry! Cassie, we've been looking everywhere for you. We gotta start practicing for the Scoot Zoomer relay. Vern really needs the practice. I can hardly wait to not be involved. Can't today. Besides, the race isn't for weeks yet. And I am, after all, the reigning skip tumor champ. Uh, but we haven't practiced at all. Hey, which reminds me, where have you been all week? It's a secret. I can't tell anyone. Or everybody will want in on it. Great! See ya! Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 she has to tell us. Oh, come on, Cassie. I mean, we're just not anyone. Well, maybe Vern is, but hey, I'm your best friend. So long! Oh, all right. It wouldn't be fair to leave Vern out. Sure it would. Come on! You guys are in for a real treat. Okay. Treat, more like a trick. I mean, she conned me again. Oh, stop grumbling, Gus. At the rate the Mortys are cutting down enchanted forests and uprooting these helpless creatures, there's a growing need for trained healers. When I become a supreme sorceress, I may specialize in the field. Oh, it's so rewarding. Oh, yeah. Real rewarding. <laughs> Your pet, Morty, seems to be a bit out of his element. Relax, Vern. Enchanted creatures are really no different from any other wild animal. That's so reassuring at a time like this. Just treat them with respect. And let them know you mean them no harm. And never show fear. Maybe.
Maybe I'd be better on bunny duty. Well, if that's what you want, sure. But they're actually quite ferocious. <gasps> Never mind. Two dozen new cases just came in. But at least I've discovered the problem. They've all been infected with a crash bug. A computer virus? Don't be such a Mori. It's a magical virus that affects their ability to fly. Is it contagious? Only if you sprout wings. Right, Doc? Well, at this rate, it won't be long before the skies are completely empty of life. Uh, there must be a cure. Some antivirus spell? Yes and no. Uh, there used to be, many years ago, a, a dash of magic gunk from the belly of a slime rooter, and presto, you're cured. I remember them well. The slimy little fellas were abundant in the enchanted forests of the southern regions. All gone now. Yes, the wizard's high council did manage to save a batch of goop before the forests were destroyed. That's great! Let's get it! But it disappeared from their keep not long ago. There isn't a single glob of goop or a slime rooter left in the entire world. Uh, we have to run, Doc. We'll be back to help just as soon as we can. Come on, Vern. I think I'll just stick around here and help Dr. Mender. That's weird. A minute ago, I could have sworn you were afraid of the beasts. They're not nearly as scary as what Cassie has in mind. Ubo said we have to work together. Down there. The power of three, remember? I wish I could forget. I still can't believe that we really need that Morty kid's help. Why don't you give him a chance? So he's a little different. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> with this book. There are eyes and ears everywhere. See what I mean? Mind your own business. Okay, you both? Do your magic. Slime rooters. I am not a travel agent or a magic genie. I am the ultimate book of spells. What's that supposed to mean? Just guessing, but I think he wants us to figure things out on our own. We don't have time. <sighs> I have all the time in the world. I think I'll just take a nap. You're welcome to open me and read up on the subject of slime rooters and their uses. I can't believe how stubborn he is. Now that's the kettle calling the cauldron black. Let's see. Nothing about slime rooters on page one. Nope, nothing on two. <sighs> I don't have that much time. Slime rooters. It says they need lots of water and mud. Huh. So how's that help? It doesn't. Come on, Ubos, do something! If you'd stop shouting and listen, you might be able to help yourselves. Shh, listen! Hear it? Water! You can thank me later. Whoa, check it out. Hmm. Yes, level three, Swamp Rim. Okay, so all you have to do is wade in there and feel around in the mud for a slime rooter. Hey, you heard her. In you go. <sighs> Wait a minute. What are you gonna do? Keeping a lookout. The swamp is probably crawling with creepy creatures. Perfect. Hold up, Vern. It looks like fun. Um, you, uh, you may need a wizard's touch. Here goes. Oh, serious. Yuck. What's the mood? 
Morty doing? The Morty just caught a slime rooter. A real fat one. Yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. That isn't that fat. <laughs> a very fine specimen, Vern. It would be wise to secure it someplace safe before it gets away. <laughs> Somebody catch it! I got it! Nice teamwork, Morty. She's beautiful. Now Dr. Mendor's patients can fill the skies again. The guy's got unbelievable luck. Which is about to run out! <laughs> must have suspected we'd come for the antivirus. Yeah, well, Zarlacc's got to do better than that to beat us. Perhaps, but I think we'd best be getting back. In a minute, Ubos. I just want to make sure the slime rooter's okay. <laughs> Sandra, wait! What's happening? Dog-eared pages. Otherwise, fine. What about Gus and Vern? Are Gus and Vern okay? Yes, well... <sighs> I sense they are all right. The slime rooter! <gasps> oh, it's okay. That was close. You better take us home right now. Sorry, that is not an option. If you journey down together, you must leave the same way. At the moment, there is a wall of rock between us. So, what can we do? Me? Nothing. You, start digging. <sighs> no! Magical excavation takes a very delicate touch. Something you definitely haven't mastered yet. Being a supreme sorceress is looking better by the minute. <coughs> I can't believe I'm trapped with a Morty. Oh yeah? And I'm just thrilled with your company. At least I have the power to save us. Uh, oh, looking for this? Start digging. Hey, wizards don't do manual labor. Whatever. <laughs> I hope Gus and Vern are doing okay. Oh, Gus has never been around a real Morty before. Imagine that. And now they are trapped together. Just the two of them. The world of magic works in mysterious ways. It sure does. Ugh. 
Well, I guess I have to help since you're such a... What? Runt? Squirt? Weakling? Hey, I was gonna say Morty. I know! I'm a Morty, okay? My parents are total Morty Mutts! Morty Mutts! Morty Mutts! Look, I don't understand what I'm doing here any more than you do! Oh, take it easy, pal. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, how the Wizard's High Council pick you anyway? Ugh, man. I wish I could forget that day. I came home from school, like I always do. But this time, my parents were floating by the ceiling in some kind of trance. Aye, there's no doubt about it, Miss Crystal Gazer. Me boy Vern has the gift. Turns out my dog was working undercover for the council to see if I qualified for a scholarship to your school. Apparently, Scotty's reports were good enough to bring the headmistress out to see for herself. <laughs> Mud parents, you know, totally clueless about things magical. <laughs> Vern really fainted. <laughs> Out cold. But the dog didn't lie. Young Vern is what we term a techno wizard. He can fix anything that's broken, usually just by touching it. How is he doing? No one is sure, especially Vern, but it's his gift. So then what happened? The High Council knew they had to recruit Vern, no matter what it took. This can't be happening! Vern's logical mind refused to believe in the Enchanted. <laughs> All he wanted to do was run for his life. The more magic they exposed him to, the more Vern knew he wanted nothing to do with it. Unless Vern learned to control his power, he would become more and more dangerous. Just like those spooky kids in your horror films. So how'd they finally convince him? They convinced him that he might lose his temper one day and accidentally use his power to do something really terrible. Oh, I hope Gus is okay. So, I finally agreed to come for one trial turn. After that, I can leave if I really want to. I'm betting you'll give it up when the time comes. Tongue, do something! I'd say this has been a most informative journey, shall we? Cassandra! Cassandra! All the winged creatures are fit to fly again. I still don't understand where the little slime rooters came from. But I'm thrilled to see they aren't extinct. As a matter of fact, the one you found just gave birth to 27 adorable little slimies. <laughs> I gotta admit, Cassie, you were right. It is pretty rewarding. You were right about Vern, too. Uh, he's not bad. Well, well, for a Morty. He just takes some getting used to. No kidding. They like me! <laughs> the Slimies like me! Oh, yeah. Vern's definitely got a gift. <laughs> <laughs>